guys, it's Ryder from Marvel 12 and EpicDroid.com, and I'm here today with the Bruno Sunglasses from Flows. These glasses are awesome. I super love them, and I am excited to be sharing them with you guys here today. For any of you who have been following me for a while, you know that glasses play a big part in my life. I literally cannot see without them, so I am always wearing them. Sometimes I'll substitute those glasses out, and I'll put in some contacts if I'm going swimming, or if I'm working in the yard, or things like that, but... I always have something on to help me see better. So I'm very used to wearing glasses all the time. Another thing that plays a big part in my life is music. I love music. I love listening to things. I'm always listening to music. I'm always listening to audiobooks or to speeches or to other things like that. But I'm always listening to something. Well, these glasses are the perfect blending of those two very big aspects of my life. And I'm super excited to be showing them to you guys here today. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what's in the box. So we got a couple of different things that come in the box. The first thing we have is the the sunglasses themselves. These are the Bruno's model. They also have a Taylor's model. It's fairly similar. Really the biggest difference is that these are a circle rather than this shape that they are right here. So we have those. Then we also have a little carrying pouch. Keep it nice and clean. We have the obligatory silica gel that I'll be throwing away. We have the user manual, and then we also have the proprietary charging cable. So to use this charger, what you would do is you would just flip these glasses over. You find this little piece right here, and you just pop that right on. And it is magnetic, so it does line up. I have to put it on the right way first. But once you get that on, it has a pretty good connection there, and it charges up super quick. So if you don't like the lenses, they do have some other options here that are available for you. If you want to, you can order a lens kit that does come with several different options. You have the different tinting here, and then you also have a pair of clear lenses that come in that kit. So you can swap those lenses out with whatever ones you want. And you can also, if you would like to, take these down to your optometrist, get a prescription filled, and you can get prescription lenses put in here as well. As far as the glasses go, they have a power button right here. That's the same button that you would also use to pair the device. As you see there, it starts flashing when it turns on. You can use this, you can set it to open up your music app. So you can tap it three times and it'll open up the app on your phone, or you can press it twice to go to the next song, or you can just tap it once to pause or play your music. You can also do a super quick double tap and that'll open up the Google Assistant or Siri on your supported devices. And once it's on, you'll hear that there is some audio coming out of these little speakers right here. Those speakers are on both sides and they fit very snugly over your ears. It was very surprising to me that when I was wearing these glasses, it sounded like I had earbuds or headphones on, even though these don't actually come in direct contact with your ear. I was very impressed with the quality of the audio on them. It had some good treble, it had some good bass, it wasn't muffled, and it sounded crystal clear. I was able to listen to a wide variety of music, I was able to listen to some books on tape, I was able to listen to a lot of other things, and I had no issues with any of them. So another cool feature about this is it does come with Bluetooth 5, so it has no problems making or taking phone calls. I did try it out with a few of my friends, and they did report that it sounded a little bit tinny, but they just thought it was because I was on speakerphone. These do come with five hours of battery life. I was able to consistently get those five hours of battery, life. A lot of times when people will publish their battery life settings, they'll normally do it on a very uh, forgiving scale. And so you'll say that on the listing that it gets five hours, but you'll get closer to two or three. I did have one where I got about three hours and it was on a hot day where I was out in the sun for quite a bit. I don't know if that played out on it or if I just hadn't charged it all the way, but I have gotten those five hours of life multiple times without any issues. The nose pieces fit very comfortably. I'm normally a fan of the nose pieces that are the rubber feet like you see on this one here, but these ones, even without that, the little plastic pieces fit very comfortably and I didn't have any problems with them bothering my nose. As far as the weight goes, these glasses are very lightweight. They're just a little bit heavier than my normal pair of glasses. So they come in here and they weigh 1.8 ounces. And then my pair of glasses here, comes in at just 1.2. So not that much heavier. So I really didn't notice that much of a difference when I was wearing them. Now the glasses are a little bit on the pricier side. So these are $150. That is a substantial increase over most earbuds and things that we would review on this channel. Now, that being said, there are a wide variety of really good earbuds as well as sunglasses that come with the same type of technology but those go for almost double, if not more, the price of these sunglasses. So yes, $150 is quite a bit to pay for a pair of glasses, a pair of sunglasses with some speakers built in. However, when you're looking at how much it costs for just a pair of sunglasses or just a pair of earbuds, I think it is very fairly priced. So all in all, I would definitely recommend these glasses. They are awesome and I really like the feature set of them. I really like the convenience of the sunglasses with the speakers built in. 
Unfortunately, they're probably not the best glasses for someone like me who has to wear glasses all the time. They are definitely geared more towards people who don't have to wear glasses, who either have contact lenses or just don't have prescriptions, period. There are some cheaper options out there. However, I do think that with the quality of the product, with the quality of the audio, as well as the sunglasses themselves, I do think that they are worth that $150. So if you guys have any questions about the Brunos or about the Taylor or about any of Flo's other products, please feel free to hit us up in the comment section down below and we'll reply as soon as we are available. We'll have a link in the description down below where you can order a pair of these for yourselves. And as always, just wanted to tell you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support and you all have an awesome day.